hard steps you had to take to be recognized. Um, I know this is going to sound a little crazy, but I feel like if just if you put the work in, it kind of just happens organically and it's not really hard. Um, the whole being accepted to Ipsy thing kind of just happened. It was not something I was expecting. It was not something I forced, like, I'm going to do this. It kind of just all fell into place and everything has just been working in my favor. Thank God. So this is Poise. Poise is a deep metallic purple. Um, it's like a royal purple. It can be built up to be darker, but this is just how I applied it right here. So this one is Poise. So that's that. And um, let me see some other questions that people have asked me before I'm gonna go over them as well about the brand so the first question people always ask me is is your brand vegan I've said this multiple times <laughs> I don't claim that we are vegan some of the products yes they are vegan but no the line is not specifically made to be vegan so I hope that answers that question. I've never said we were vegan. I never made any claims we were vegan. Some of the products are, yes, they are. Not all of them. So if you're vegan, please read the ingredients. They're listed on every single listing on the website. And as a vegan, you should know what ingredients are in vegan and what ingredients are vegan. So that's that. So the next color I'm going to swatch is going to be Bloom. And Bloom is a light pink pastel color which I believe is one of the Pantone colors like a rose quartz color this is rose quartzy I say it's gonna look a little purple because obviously I just swatched purple and my brush is not 100% clean so please keep that in mind but it is like a baby pink rose quartz color so this is this right here, it looks a little white silver, but it's actually like a baby pink color. So, and if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking in the monitor to look at the swatch. Make sure you guys can see it. So, that is this one. That one is Bloom, and it's a perfect color for spring. So, there's that one. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the next question that's always asked are you cruelty free yes we are and we are cruelty free certified you can see our certificate on the website um, under I think it's either about us or info or something but we have it posted on there so if you're gonna tell me we're making false claims I'm sorry but leaping bunny if you're out there you know you certified frostaholics um, thank you for that and yeah so we are certified the next color I'm going to swatch is called rusted uh, rusted is exactly what it sounds like it is a rusted I gotta clean my hand off it is a rusty brown color and I like these kind of colors so I created them <laughs> um, it's just like a good rusty brown I feel like there's not that many rusty browns out there and this is definitely like a reddish undertone rusty brown color and I love me some rusty colors because like I said I like neutral colors natural colors whatever you want to call them so this one is rusted and it's definitely a rusty brown color reminds me of rust 100% <laughs> and it is like a metallic -y kind of finish it's not a matte um, we don't really have that many mattes right now but they're coming don't you worry so there we go that's rusted um, let's see another color or another question that people always ask me is what products are next what what's gonna be new so in 2016 we are going to be having a lot of new stuff so I'll give you guys a little sneak peek for those guys that watch these videos not sneak peek but like I'm gonna tell you so like a preview kind of thing we're gonna be having palettes I'm going to probably have, right now I have about 16 to 17 highlight colors. The ones that I showed you right here are basically like the main staple ones that people always go to, the ones that I like and the ones I always carry in my go-to palette. Um, but I'm going to 
have a highlighter palette, so you'll have all the highlighters in one. Uh, it's not going to be custom to you, the colors you choose, it's going to be what we think are the basic ones that everybody should have. So that's going to be the first thing. The second thing is going to be an eyeshadow quad. Um, if you guys bought from us this past Halloween, you know we had um, glitter palettes. Um, we're going to have more glitter palettes coming out. Um, those are 100%. You make the colors, so whatever color glitter you want, go in the palettes. They are pressed, so you don't really need a base, which I have um, some right here I'm going to swatch for you. Um, but yeah, those are a couple things you can look forward to in 2016. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so the next thing is going to be Hunted. Hunted is a, exactly what it sounds like, it's a hunter green. It's super, it's kind of hard to swatch because it is a matte color and I haven't used this color in forever. Let me see it'll, if it'll even swatch because I pressed this one a little bit hard. <laughs> uh, a little bit, I'm getting a little bit. So these don't come pressed, it's just pressed so I can carry them around easier. Um, so they're a little bit easier. So this one is hunted. As you can see, it's an olive hunter green. It matches my shirt and it is a matte. So, and I love this color. It's like <laughs> one of my favorite colors, olivey hunter green. There it is. That one's called hunted. And all these colors are currently up on the website. Um, they do range between six to seven fifty. Um, the highlighters, majority of them are like seven fifty. So it's a pretty decent price for a highlighter and you do get a pretty decent sized jar let me see if I have hold on I'll show you the actual size of the jar if I brought one so this is the size of the jar it's a pretty decent size this is what the label looks like on the front with the color name and this one is puppet it is also a pigment so you can see it's loose so that's that uh, the next color that I'm going to swatch is I was gonna swatch BAM, which is like this doughy, well, oh, this piece. Uh, it's like a doughy color of a deer. <laughs> um, and I'm wearing that in my transition color right now. But it's kind of hard to squat, squatch. It's kind of hard to swatch because it is my skin tone color. So I'm not gonna swatch that one. But yeah, so those are the pigments. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch take these guys out I'm gonna swatch some of the glitters one of them just fell out uh, okay so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch a glitter for you guys so you can see exactly what a pressed glitter is all about so look just on my finger dabbing it on my hand there's no primer no nothing let me get another color here so there's no glue involved in this it's just simply patting it on and layering it that's all it is so look I'm doing two colors here and this is the great part about our press glitters and this is how the individuals come in a little little mirror compact eh, let me see if I can like that little mirror compact and look at that so those are the glitter swatched and they don't they don't blow off they stay on perfectly so this is no primer no glue no nothing that is just how they apply so that's a good thing about them I mean you will have a little fallout if you apply it too thickly but watch even when I try to wipe them off look they still are staying on there a little bit so they're on there they're not they're not gonna fall off. <laughs> Some people are like, how does pressed glitter work? You just saw it. Now it's gone. Nothing. Easy peasy. Fresh and easy. That store doesn't exist anymore. So we have a bunch of colors. Like here's like a mermaid blue. This one is a more light of a base, so let me show you. Let me just dab this guy. Look. Just dabbing. Finger hand just dab it on there this is one of my favorite colors this blue and I also have like a pinky color let me see if I can swatch that for you and they are so simple to apply like no more glitter glue no more messy whatever 
you need to apply these or not these but glitter in general can be messy so here you go I swatched the blue over here the pink in the middle and then the purple on the end and you can see easy peasy there they go glittery and they are on there like they're not coming off <laughs> nothing <laughs> still there so it's not like your regular glitter that's the fun part about it and you get to make your own color so if you want a rainbow we can make it if you want a blue we can make it if you want a black we can make that too whatever color you want we can make it so yeah there's that if you want a chunkier kind of glitter you tell us we make it chunky okay so let me see what else can I swatch for you swatch that let me swatch gold daddy which is I have it in a little sample pot here and this is another highlighter that is highly highly requested and bought so let's swatch this Ooh, I'm making a huge mess so this is just a pure gold bronzy color you can use it for a bronzer you can use it for a highlighter there it is that is gold daddy super super pretty so there you go you can see more browns there and then highlight it there so yeah that's gold daddy so this one looks good on um, darker skin tones on a fair skin tone person I would probably only use a tiny tiny bit because it is a little overpowering and you can look a little crazy um, and let's see what else do we have we have our little lip scrubs I brought a little sample one if you could see it has a little froggy there and this is what they all look like this is a mini size but the full size does look like our regular standard size jars so this is a it's like fuzz and stuff all over okay so this is the mini and this is the full size this is not a lip scrub obviously this is just a jar so yeah that's what they and they come with the frosted top and you choose the color and they make great gifts and things like that so that's all I'm gonna swatch for you today um, I thought I would just do a quick run through of some of the highlighters that most people enjoy and some people are like oh I want to see them swatched well I did a swatch video I did a quick Q&A about the brand and yeah, so hopefully you guys like it. If there's any other questions you have for me, I can film a part two with more swatches. If there's things on the website you want to see swatched, you can go on the website and then comment below. Um, the website is frostaholics.com, and I will link that up here or below in the comment box. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I will see you guys soon.